Greetings Earthlings and welcome back. My name is Casey if you are new here. Um, I'm a stay-at-home mom of five. I do YouTube videos. Hi. Today I have some self-care tips for you. Quick shout out to iHerb for partnering with me on this video. iHerb carries over 30,000 natural products like supplements to makeup. They even have snacks, the healthy kind, and it's actually where I buy my essential oils and most of my self-care goodies. Prices are low and their products have tons of authentic reviews and ships to over 150 countries. Everything is super easy to sort through and filter. Orders are shipped from climate controlled distribution centers to ensure the quality of their products. They also offer customer service 24 hours a day, seven days a week in 10 different languages. All of the links will be down below in the description box. So be sure to check iHerb.com come out being a stay-at-home mom and speaking with stay-at-home moms you know in real life and on the internet I have found that our pleasure ends up being put on the bottom of the to-do list so I hope this video really encourages you to prioritize yourself and to create routines that make you feel your best that are non-negotiable. It's very, very important that you define self-care for yourself. Make sure you get a clear vision of what self-care is for you because again, it doesn't look the same for everybody. For me, it's all about dropping into my body. And so we're gonna go on this journey together. May these self-care tips bring you some peace and harmony in your life. Let's go ahead and get started. When you have depression or anxiety, exercise seems like the last thing you want to do. But I've learned once you get motivated and disciplined, exercising and stretching can make such a huge difference in the quality of our lives, releasing all the feel-good endorphins, and it just gives myself a little confidence boost. One of my favorite things in the world is my oil diffuser. It's very important to me that my space feels relaxing and essential oils along with the diffuser just helps the oils into the air, energizing the room and providing you with all of their benefits continuously. And this has helped with my sleep, it freshens the air and peppermint always gives my mood a little boost. Get you whatever you want, I'll settle for nothing. Now, if you're an OG follower, you know how I feel about my baths. One of my favorite ways to de-stress is by adding this Celtic sea salt bath salts, and it just helps draw out any impurities and it invigorates the skin. And this Celtic sea salt has actually replaced my bath bombs because those irritate me. It helps with my aches, pains, sore muscles, and it's my favorite. Masking is always a big mood booster for me, and I love this Andalou Glycolic Pumpkin Honey Mask. This mask does wonders for my combination acne prone skin. First off, it smells like November. <laughs> It's so nice. It tingles a bit at first, but that's just the vitamin C, cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, glycolic, all that stuff going to work. This mask is going to gently dissolve and sweep away dull, dry surface cells, and it's basically going to exfoliate and resurface for even tone and smooth texture. And my skin is just always so glowy after this mask. So I apply it all over my face and I also bring it down onto my neck a bit and then I leave it on for about 20 minutes. Sticking with the whole masking theme, this is my favorite hair mask. This is the Pacifica Coconut Pro Strong and Long Creamy Oil Mask. 
and I only apply this to the length of my hair. When my hair is stressed, I'm stressed and I know it's silly but I am so attached to my hair. This is one of those hair masks that I know I'm gonna have a good hair day. It just makes it so soft and manageable. It's fortified with coconut oil, olive oil, avocado oil, and a rice protein. So great for stress defense and color protection. And I typically will let this sit for about 20 minutes and sometimes I will apply this at night and then rinse it out in the morning. I don't even bring my phone in the bathroom with me because I like to use this time to really disconnect from text, email, social media, all of that. So I leave that in a different room. Now this is one of my favorite tools to use on my feet. This is the So Good Ceramic Foot Smoother. Showing a little love to my feet. Now I know a little bit of callusing is good for protection for the feet, but I do like to smooth out my heels, hit the side of that big toe. I love the convenience of the handle, and this one lasts a lot longer than the Sandpaper Grit Smoothers. I love applying this Coco Care. This is a repairing and conditioning balm and it just does such a beautiful job at softening the heels. Now I have tried so many foot creams, lotions, ointments, and this one by far is definitely my favorite. You don't need a lot, a little goes a long way, and I think it's only like a couple of bucks, so um, I just massage that all over my feet, not just my heels. I also like to kind of give myself a little foot massage because our feet do carry us through this journey called life so I definitely like to pay attention to them about once a month I use this scalp scrub to remove any debris that could irritate my scalp this stuff smells so so good it's very invigorating which helps with the blood circulation and lately I've had a dry scalp and this is just been helping with the moisture so and I distribute this all over my scalp and then I will hop into the shower and get my head wet really massage the product into my scalp and get a nice little exfoliation going on now this supplement I take daily and this was actually recommended to me by you guys for a good year now and finally I picked it up a few months ago so I've been taking it and I actually notice a difference in my periods. I started taking it um, because I do suffer from PMDD and this has been so helpful and basically it helps regulate your hormones and I will definitely do a whole video just on this in the future so stay tuned. Now, I don't do my makeup every day, but I will say on the days that I take the time and put a little bit of makeup on, I just feel so much better about myself, the world, <laughs> everything. So I am a sucker for empowerment candles. Um, I love to put these in my home to just make it a more peaceful space. We'll light this and say a prayer, do some meditation, and anytime I light a candle, I will set the intention. And I actually don't blow the candle out, I just let it burn all the way through. And anytime I'm having like a rough moment, rough day, I just kind of look over at the candle, I'm like, oh, okay my intention and it kind of just re helps reset my vibe <laughs> now this is something that i do absolutely every single day and that is journaling i have to brain dump i have to get my feelings and thoughts out so i leave them all in my journal and the last self-care tip is listening to podcasts and audiobooks so i will just put something on listen to it do things around the house and i'm getting shit done and growing at the same time because of the fact that i was relatively unknown 
And because of my lack of experience, no major booking agency wanted me. This didn't deter me. I booked myself and still do. It all started with the picture in his imagination and that winning feeling. The science of cybernetics throws new light on just how the winning feeling operates. We have previewed comparable to human memory. To remember successful actions and repeat them is largely a matter of trial and error practice. Until the number of hits or successful actions have registered in memory. memory, memory, memory. And that's going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. It shows me that you care. And if you know someone that needs a little self-care, you think that they would appreciate this video, please share it with them. Figure out what it is that you need and disconnect. I will see you guys in the next video, which reminds me to remind you to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys next time. Peace. We've got